Shavua Tov, Chavarim. I hope you had a calm and quiet Shabbat. In today's thought, I want to focus on a prayer that feels extreme relevant to our situation right now. It is the Hashkivenu. When it is recited, we ask God to spread over us a shelter of peace. Let me read it to you as it appears in the Mishkan Fila, our Sido. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom, Behamidenu Shomreinu Lechayim, Ufrosa Leinu Sukach Lomecha, Vitakenenu Beza Tova Milfanecha, Vihoshi Enu Lemaan Shemecha, Vihagen Beadenu Chazer Mealenu Oyev. Deva, Becherev, Veraav, Veyagon. Vahacheg mimenu avon va pesha. Uvetzel kevna fecha tastirenu ke el shomreinu matzilenu ata. Ke el chanun rachum ata. Ushmor tzeteinu uvoenu. Lechayimu le shalom. Meata veat olam. Baruchata adonai. Shomer Amo Yisrael La'ad. Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and rise us up, our guardian, to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel for your name's sake. Be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. God, our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Chaim and I have been sheltering ourselves for two weeks now. And most of you in the one or the other way too, latest since last Friday. And we are going to be in this situation for the next three weeks too, as a minimum. One may ask oneself, how in the world may I keep my sanity while staying inside for so long? I myself have wondered that very thing too. We need to create for ourselves the shelter of peace. And that kind of shelter may not be necessary, the roof above our head. What helps me is to recognize those people and things around me that help me to create my shelter of peace. I'm in the lucky position to have Chaim around me, our cats, and of course our dog Teddy, who seems to love the situation more than anyone else, as we are at home with her all day long. What a spoiled dog. But this is not all. It is also the comfort of our home and the ability to call those who are far away and to hear from them how they are doing. The short chats with my sister to receive an update on how my family overseas is doing. The messages I receive from friends all over the world. And last but not least, the wonderful communications that I have with you, my community. Remember, we are physically distancing but not socially. All this helps to create a shelter that keeps my mind from going wild. But there's another shelter that helps me to remain strong in this time of uncertainties. The sanctuary and time we have created together each and every week when we celebrate Shabbat. The moment we light the candles for Shabbat, a warm feeling of familiarness surrounds me. 
the unknown steps away, uh, the unknown steps away, and give space to the known. Shabbat is the time we allow ourselves to recenter and to regroup. The rituals of Shabbat provide us with the nourishment to enter the new week, renewed and with new strength. At the beginning of a new week, I'd like you to invite or I'd like to invite you to recall those feelings of Shabbat, to remember the peacefulness of Shabbat and to use them as the pillars that will carry your shelter of peace in the coming days. When you feel that anxiety becomes overwhelming, when the statistics telling us how many of us are already affected by the virus or even died, if they creating a sense of hopelessness in yourself, then use those words of our tradition. O oh, guide my steps and help to find my way. I need your shelter now. Rock me in your arms and guide my steps and help me make each day a song of praise to you. Rock me in your arms and guide my steps. Oh, guide my steps and help to find my way. I need your shelter now. Rock me in your arms and guide my steps and help me make each day a song, a song of praise to you. Rock me in your arms and guide my steps. Hashkiveinu Adonai Eloheinu L'Shalom, L'Shalom. Vehamideinu Malkeinu L'chaim Ufos aleinu sukat shlomecha Ufos aleinu sukat shlomecha Shalom, me hamidein hu makein hu lechaim. Ufos aleinu sukat shlomecha, ufos aleinu sukat shlomecha. Tov. I hope to see some of you, many of you, later for our Sunday afternoon chat via Zoom. You find all details about how to use Zoom and the meeting number on our website www.betdavid.org.za slash online www.betdavid.org.za slash forward online. I'm looking forward to hearing from you how you're doing, how you're feeling and how you create your shelter of peace, your shelter of shalom for yourself and for your families and for your friends. Shavuot of.